Welcome to the session on stages in big data project. Before we understand the stages, let's understand some industry concepts. One of the most common industry concepts these days in the big data world is called as data lake, also referred to sometimes as data hub. This is a centralized location to store data in the Hadoop system, which can be sourced from various source systems and applications. Typically in the life cycle of the project, the first stage usually is the discover phase where we identify all the different sources and applications from which data has to be brought into the Hadoop system. Ingestion is the next phase where we actually bring the data from these different identified applications and sources into the Hadoop data lake, which could be HDFS or some NoSQL database or either it could also be a relational database sometimes. Finally, after bringing the data, the stage would be processing where it will be transforming the data in some form or shape to produce the desired results and outcomes. Some companies do organize the data in specific formats and do this optional stage of additional processing. But finally, we have the application stage where it could be a self-service dashboard for our users, a web-based portal, an app as Uber, or an alerting system based on the requirement of the project. This provides us end-to-end -end process of what a typical big data project implementation happens. Based on that, we have designed the course and the different stages in a typical big data project. So, in terms of life cycle, you would be starting obviously with the foundation. In this category, we have two categories. We have technical items, which include things like Unix, Cloudera install, and also non-technical items like the understanding of the stages, understanding of the different roles in a big data project, and so on and so forth. The foundation is a very important stage. It helps build the foundation for the successful implementation of any big data project. That's why it is crucial for your learning as well as the implementation of the project. Next is storage, where we identify where in the Hadoop side of the world we'll be storing the data. It would be HDFS or some columnar databases, NoSQL databases like HBase, or it could be sometimes relational databases as well. Now getting the data into these systems will be the process or stage of ingestion. We could use Scoop for building relational data, Flume for unstructured data, and Spark Streaming can help us in bringing real-time stream of data. Finally, we'll be performing some processing, whether it could be simple processing using MapReduce, Hive, Pig, Spark SQL, and some other similar technologies, or it could be ranging to advanced processing like machine learning using Spark MLIP, Graphics, etc. In the end, the application which will be the end user application will be developed, whether it is a dashboard in Tableau or some other reporting system, a web-based portal or an application. So based on these stages, we have designed the program on the training to have all of these stages covered as one separate part. And once you have completed this cycle and also the project which follows a similar pattern, you would have understood what a typical end-to-end -end big data project happens to be. Thanks. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach us at info at bigdatatrunk.com. Thank you.